decline. A new report suggests councils need stricter planning laws to stop pubs being demolished so freely. As a part of International Women's Day, the South Bank is holding a special weekend of events to highlight the work of women across the world. Two of the people taking part include Sara Shamsavari, who will be exhibiting photographs which celebrate veiled Muslim women in London, and comedienne Ruby Wax, who will be holding a talk at the event tomorrow. I met them earlier and I began by speaking to Sara first, asking her about her exhibition and how it came about. Well, I, I like to call them participants, first of all, not subjects. Um, but yes, I decided to do um, this, this show. It was really inspired by the idea that our challenges and, you know, our limitations, all of us can inspire creativity, um, which can then also inspire change. So um, the idea behind this, I, I would see these young women and I would see how, you know, gorgeous they would be dressed, how diverse and, you know, how individual they were. And despite um, the fact that, you know, a lot of people, when they look at a woman in a veil, they just see a veil. Mm -hmm. And the fact that these women are young. Yeah. They're female. Because we can see some of them on, on, on screen now. And you're right. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. And I was um, uh, looking up some of your previous work and you were saying that a lot of it is to do with um, growing up here and feeling sometimes a little bit separate from society. So you want to show that in, in your pictures. Well, you know, uh, what I'd like to do is um, create conversation and bring people together, you know, and um, also elevate those people and communities who have... It been less celebrated yeah. um, famously or that we, we see less positive images of. Well, talking of less positive images, let's uh, go over to you, <laughs> Ruby Day, not at all. Because talking about the, the event that you're taking part in tomorrow, uh, it's a show that has previously been, been uh, done before where you talk about your battle with mental illness. Well, it, it's, I don't talk about my battle. Um, that, that comes into it, but the show is really about it. You know, one in four people have a glitch. And, uh, but four and four of us really do have some problems, you know, living at this particular point in society. Uh, so I talk about that. But then at the very end, I do go into the one and four. So I use myself. Mm -hmm. um, and it's sort of a, a mental strip tease. And then I invite the audience to talk. And I've been doing this show four years in, in now Melbourne and L.A. and American here. And what kind of reception do well, you Well, it's you always get the same. It? And I used to play um, mental institutions. That's where I started out for two years. And the questions are the same from the audience as they are in the West End because we have no place to meet. And also, I'm making it... Um, only because I have mental illness can I be amusing. Otherwise, yeah. it would be insulting. So um, everybody feels relief when one person starts to talk. Absolutely. You know, and so a ball starts rolling. And of course, this um, Women of the World Festival is happening at South Bank because it's International Women's Day. What does that whole concept mean to you, Ruby? Uh, you know, first of all, I've never heard of Women's Day, and you said it was going since 1977. 77, yeah. 77. Uh, so it's news to me. I've only, I've, you know, since the WOW Festival was going on, but the atmosphere in there is unbelievable because mm. women are sort of liberated. So you get um, opera singers and MPs and whatever, and there is no mask. I don't know. It's really refreshing. But we're still wearing makeup. There's <laughs> still that. Important. And those kind of... Look at these shoes. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it's not like we've gone serious here. Oh, but, no, not uh, at all. Really and, and, and unbelievable how about, how about you, Sarah? What does the whole concept of International Women's Day mean to you? It means that we still have a lot of work to do towards mm. justice and equality, clearly, by the fact that we have an International Women's Day and an International Women's Month. It means that we've still got a long way to go. But also celebrating what we've done already. But, you know, as Ruby said, this, uh, the WOW Festival ha is an incredible incredible vibe there and yeah. yeah you know people talking about stuff that you feel you can't talk about and and you know it's really moving and really wonderful that something like this exists it's yeah. very eclectic it's, yeah. and, and it's not really you don't notice it's just women it's talent it's a lot of talent all right well, Ruby, can i say i'm on at 4 30 tomorrow at the queen elizabeth of, hall of course you, you can, can and, and, and right. you've yes. just said it as well and your exhibition so is on the all the claw um, and yeah. this evening at um 6 30 to 7 30 you can see london bell also yeah. tomorrow at 2 30. Okay. <laughs> well thank Women you very much for coming plug. in <laughs> yes. thanks very much Ruby thank and you. Sarah. Thank thanks, you. thanks. Well, there are extra pictures from Sarah's exhibition on our website. That's itv.com slash London.